So good afternoon, uh, Toastmaster Jay Kankan. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, my first question to you is, uh, can you please outline the position for which you are standing as part of the district uh, elections, your club number, your year of chartering of the club, and your club name? Uh, <clears throat> I'm applying for Division B director. My uh, club ID is 721904. And uh, <clears throat> I'm Toastmaster since 2019. I'm the charter member of Emerging Leader Toastmasters Club. I have done uh, club officer roles like uh, SAA, uh, VPPR, VPM, VP uh, Education President. And currently, I'm um, Area B1 Director. Thank you. Uh, so my next question to you is, list down any three points to demonstrate why you are the right candidate for this position? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Initially, uh, I want to stop my uh, leadership journey at uh, president level itself. But uh, when I uh, when I, when I I guided by, by mentor, I took the area director uh, role and I prepared for that. When I started preparing area director, I come to know the nuances of uh, Toastmasters journey. And uh, the very essence of uh, why I'm continuing, want to continue as a division director, there is one strong reason for that. Because of this uh, area director in a uh, Toastmaster journey, I got an uh, immense uh, opportunity and uh, good recognition in my professional life. And uh, uh, I'm happy to share that I have a to total 20 years of experience in uh, banking and finance and outsourcing and other training. But till now, I am an individual contributor as a manager. But when I become an area director, my organization identified me and uh, due to social media and due to my WhatsApp and uh, due to my uh, approach towards the people issue, they have identified me. They have given a 15-member team for, for the past six months. I was being a line manager for my uh, team, KVC department, where they have, uh, I have excelled um, I, I done my uh, responsibility, I discharged my uh, professional work very softly and people have uh, think they have congratulated me, they have, uh, uh, they have uh, identified me that uh, all because of Toastmasters. So that is the reason uh, it is a very, very small beginning in my career of uh, area director. So for that itself, I have succeeded in my 20 years profession. So whereby I want to gain more knowledge or uh, I want to uh, um, give back the, the the things which I learned to the fraternity. I want to continue as a division director. That is the only strong reason, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Jack Anton. So the next question for you is, what is that one change that you will implement in your division if you are elected as the division director? Yes, sir. There is a, uh, it, it is, uh, it is a common issue across the G120 to my understanding. And... Uh, Conducting the quality meeting and uh, membership retain is a very big challenge uh, at this juncture. Definitely, my uh, focus area would be on uh, retention of the membership and the uh, a quality meeting. Like uh, uh, people, most of the clubs are uh, still in the online meeting and not trying hybrid meeting at all. And definitely, my uh, uh, one strong aim would be continue the Toastmasters meeting fully in offline. That is my... Uh, uh, a uh, uh, target uh, goal on this, my division term, division director term, Satish. Thank you. Thank you, Dosmasi Jack Anton. So the next question is, as a district officer, what would you choose from? Morally right or legally right? As a division director, I'm a people, uh, people leader. Morally, I listen to the people's issue. But end of the day, Legal is a uh, proven success uh, subject matter that definitely everyone should possess and everyone have to follow for the future, um, uh, uh, unhindrance uh, future. So I listen to the moral, but follow the legally for any issues. That would be the safest for any leader at any point in time. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jack Anton. So the next question is, can you mention any three points from the Toastmasters promise. Respect, integrity, service and excellence. 
Thank you. How would you we want to remember by the members once you step down from your position? Sadish, I want to repeat the question again. How do you how do you want to be remembered by members once you step down from your position? An easy approach leader. Because uh, most of the time, people may, uh, I, I used to uh, see, they'll seek permission uh, most of the time. Can I call now? Yeah, what time you will be busy? What time you will be available? But uh, one thing I strongly uh, uh, recommend to my friends and the groups and the Toastmasters, whoever, who, whoever the deal with me on a day-to-day -day life, pick up the phone anytime. Definitely, I'll, when I'm available, I'll be reached out to you or, uh, as a friend, as a leader, as an uh, uh, area director. I said that that is the one reason people uh, nowadays they are doing the same and I'm so happy in the, the responses of the people from the district and the, the, uh, my particularly in my area. Thank you. Thank you Toastmaster Jack Anton for your time. Wishing you all the very best for your elections. Thank you. Thank you sir. Thank you so much sir. Thank you.